How's it going, everybody? We saw Monster Hunter Wilds, and it looks insane. So joining me today is Bobby Pashalidis and Steve Vigvari from Console Creatures. How are you doing today? Steve, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm jet lagged. I'm sleepy. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm emptying the gas tank right here. Uh, I'm so excited to be on the show. Thank you for the invitation. Can't wait to unpack everything we've seen of Monster Hunter Wilds. Of course. And Bobby, how are you doing? I think we're all in that boat where we're just like happy to be home and um <laughs> for me i've lost my voice so if, if i sound a little gruff it's because i was freaking out all weekend over all the games that we were seeing and yeah i'm doing good a little bit tired i have no, like maybe an hour of sleep under my belt but yeah i'm excited to talk about monster hunter wilds mm -hmm. yeah if you, i'm accidentally i know i'm gonna accidentally call this something else like rise or something so if i accidentally call it that just ignore it move on we all know what game we're talking about here but we all got to see a little behind this i wouldn't say behind the scenes a behind closed doors look at a demo of this game and i'm sure we all saw stuff that's wildly pun intended different maybe the person mm -hmm. behind the wheel of the controller because they were actually playing it in front of us it wasn't like a pre-recorded video maybe they've done something a little bit different but um as somebody who doesn't really have a whole lot of monster hunter experience under his belt i was really quite impressed by what i saw of this game um it's very uh, action-packed massive not just in the terms of like the world but you know the monsters are huge too which is what we've come to expect from monster hunter right um but bobby you're a little more of a seasoned monster hunter veteran i want to know your thoughts on what you got to see of monster hunter wilds i'm not like the most seasoned veteran i've only been a fan for me about 10 years or so but oh, that's um, way longer than <laughs> that's okay, way longer that's than i played <laughs> fair enough i i i think it looks good um it's more monster hunter it just looks a lot prettier that's my takeaway um the demo was pretty controlled so i think we can all kind of agree um what we all saw was very particular to the vertical slice they offered us so we all kind of saw the same thing it they they want us to see what what they've been working on in, in in this in this aspect but like overall like i'm excited for it's more monster hunter, like i said um i'm more excited to see what 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 they're going to be doing with the time they have left because i mean it as it is it looks great are they going to be adding more systems to make it feel natural because it seems like they want to create a living world where you're going through different maps and you know we saw in our demo like uh monsters fighting each other or setting traps for each other and like that stuff was cool but i i feel like it it wasn't as organic as they're trying to sell it to us and that's what i'm kind of worried about it just feels like it's systems on top of each other and it's it's it that's basically what it is it's not what what they're selling to us is my kind of my big concern interesting yeah i kind of feel I, like i do get that there was parts in that demo that were like you know probably happened a few times over and over again depending on who saw yeah. who saw what but i also still feel like a lot of that stuff could happen in the game still steve you have you have thoughts um no i i, I want to just kind of open up just by saying that i think i'm closer to you joey that uh, i have very minimal hands-on experience with monster hunter just as an ip as a franchise i think by the time i even started putting monster hunter on my radar it was with worlds and by that time it felt too far gone it had been like a year after launch and everything and i started playing wild hearts last year and that was my first real taste of this kind of game if right. you will um and then when we first saw the trailer for monster hunter wild at the playstation state of play i was like okay i'm I'm now invested enough to make this perhaps my first real open world Monster Hunter game. And going into the uh, behind closed doors demo, I was very excited and enthusiastic to see what it would be. Yeah, and getting back to this whole idea of the controlled vertical slice, this demo, I, I totally agree with you, Joey. I think coming, uh, uh, sitting in it, I was there was a lot of magic behind it where you do they they try to show off oh this is what could happen here's how monsters could interact and play a dynamic role while you and your team are taking down this larger than life creature um all of a sudden you know a pack of other monsters can get in the way and just start doing chip damage to this thing or you know start disrupting you as the player but i will say that getting out of it i was a little disillusioned when i'm starting to talk to colleagues of mine and i'm like oh so this same thing happened to you and you know they're trying to sell it off as like oh this was like an organic happenstance but 
yeah, to your point, I do think that they're just basically showing us an example of what could be happening in the larger, like in the game when it comes out. Uh, I think right. it's just very, like, very much like touchstone examples of, hey, this is what happens when the the large sandstorm comes in and it turns into night and different creatures come come out. I can't remember the the name of of this uh, winged beast. It's almost like a dragon, and they're like, this is one of the toughest monsters that are going to be in the game. And they try to lure it to the monster that, you know, they're trying to take down. And it didn't exactly go according to plan. You were kind of like leading the, the breadcrumbs down the path for this uh, this winged beast to get to the other one. But then the, the, the winged beast just kind of left, to, took a right hand <laughs> turn and just kind of uh, moseyed on, on, his, uh, on his merry way at one point. And I was like, I would have liked to see this. Uh, <laughs> this play out but i guess uh it didn't really uh pan out that way but overall i th i think I, I i had an enjoy enjoyable time sitting there and uh seeing what monster hunter wilds could could become i mean for a vertical slice that is a game that comes out next year like that that was really impressive to see and capcom had yep. a lot of faith in that demo and i think it played out really well i agree That's, too yeah what were you gonna say That's Bob? My big yeah, that's my big takeaway. I mean, it feels really polished, but I mean, we have to just understand it is a slight, a vertical slice. So the, that is great. Um, I don't know if you guys were, you know, taking notes or anything, but like I was just trying to, you know, parse as much information from like the, the representative, but they're basically telling us like there's these, you know, new systems, new consoles. So there's like no loading screens. Everything's, you know, in in maps. So you, there's, you don't have to go between like the town and then load up to a map. So everything's done on the same screen. And like, that's kind of cool. Other games, it's basically like, you know, you go to the t you go to the city town, you know, you get your weapons, you, you cook some meals and you go back into the map. So that's a big change. I, I don't know if that's gonna make a big difference but i mean it's something that they're kind of pushing to let us know like hey we are you know streamlining these processes so it's not like a waiting game where you're sitting there waiting for the maps to load and the big thing is now like there are a lot more tools to be vertical so the maps are a lot more vertical i'm seeing and we saw that in the demo where he, he was using like the beetle to you know latch onto something up in like a tree and then get over like a like a sand trap and we saw these things happening in real time and it looked great that's another thing um we saw are we allowed to talk about the monster names because like, the first one was no. the i believe he said no that was he said no bobby <laughs> oh what what joy can you please beep i i will beep it out i promise you <laughs> and then he didn't but yeah no it was a it was a great introduction for a lot of people because there were people that were sitting with me who were you know newcomers to the series and they were really like taken aback by what was happening but on the other side they were also kind of concerned because i mean you guys saw the demo like monster hunter is not just like you go out and you find this monster and then you fight it on the spot you have to you be prepared so you have yeah. to cook food you have to cook stuff that that will either enhance your strength or your stamina or uh, like stuff to poison them and you have to follow their tracks so you will yeah. fight them in one spot they will freak out or they will start you know getting angry and they'll take off and you have to follow their tracks to the next spot and while that's happening you're you're coming across other monsters that are trying to either kill you or, or hunt that other monster so it is a game where you have to kind of you know invest time in so like a hunt could take you know five minutes or it could be something like a like a legendary monster where it takes up to 40 minutes to an hour so it's it's really well, how are you gonna my demo i don't know about you guys but my demo mm. they made a delicious looking steak before Dude, taking i wanted that. to talk about that yes, yes. Yeah. thank you no, that thing that looks so delicious i don't know that, what capcom a... capcom has been like just been bragging about how good they can make <laughs> food <laughs> look dragon's yeah. dogma 2 steak was real it was actually an fmv but this was just like oh my god give me that right now i need that i think it was steak. ever yeah. since the they, introduction really of the resident that. evil 2 burger in that opening cutscene <laughs> yes. that's when capcom was like yeah we get we get food uh, uh the the animation to the look of, of really good food and i'm here for it absolutely so yeah. yeah in monster hunter world the palico chef is the one you go to to cook food and like i'm sure you guys have seen the memes when it was out <laughs> where it's like you know the three or four like just cross-armed uh, cats just cooking food for you. So like they're bringing that back. It looks like it's it, it's still there, but the meals are great and they do have buffs. So yeah, people should pay attention to that stuff. But yeah, I mean, 
overall, I'm, I'm, I think my big takeaway, it's more Monster Hunter. It just looks a lot better and it feels more uh, streamlined to fit the needs of conf this console generation. So, there, like I said, there's no loading times. Um, it's a little bit more dynamic, but like we said, I don't know if it's naturally dynamic or it's just they're trying to program it where it feels like it's supposed to be. So, I mean, that that's just something I want to revisit in a couple months when they start talking more about the game. I figure we'll probably see something by maybe September of the Game Awards because I think Game Awards is more likely where we're going to be seeing more of this game. I, I mean, think they said it's going to be playable at Gamescom too. Right. So like people yeah. like us will be able to get our hands on it. And no, for I sure. I was a little bit concerned about that, right? Because mm -hmm. I mean, we went to this demo thinking there was going to be a hands-on demo. At least I did. Mm -hmm. And they're like, nope, it's just this closed presentation. And I'm like, after seeing the demo, I'm like, why wouldn't you have put that on the floor? That would have been probably the highlight of of like Capcom's booth. Maybe. And it's just weird. It is strange, but, but yeah. Gamescom's not too far away at the same time. It's in August. Right. So I think, yeah, they maybe need to like iron out a few bugs or whatnot. And I'm sure like the game already the from what they showed us from that demo, it, it still looks really polished. But I know mm. they probably focused on polishing that specific area for us so they sh could show what it would look like yeah. in the long run but yeah i came away thinking the same thing even as somebody with very limited monster hunter experience i was thinking monster hunter fans like diehard monster hunter fans are going to be eating with this mm -hmm. game not just the steak but just like they're going to be like thinking this game is like a really just a big upgrade from like previous monster hunter games and you know capcom really hasn't given us any reason not to trust them with this franchise like they just keep exactly. getting better and better and better and i don't see why monster hunter wilds is going to be any different especially now that it's going to be like open world and like seamlessly theoretically i just want to know because we only have been really been seeing that desert area like that desert biome i was about right. to bring that yeah mm -hmm. is there going to uh, be more biomes like maybe I there'll be loading so. screams between biomes i'm not sure about that yeah, only they because really like, for me, I'm I'm okay. looking at you know the desert and how yellow it all is, and that looks great from what we've seen. But an entire game of that, I think, could grow a little stale for me as someone who wants to you know to, to go up in the mountains or like a lush forest or something like that. I want to see some varying biomes as a, as you get to explore this new new open world. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, previous games were pretty, I would say, diverse in that. So like you would get like a jungle, you would get a, like a desert you would get a mix of everything like there were planes like you could walk around where it was just open areas with you know lakes and stuff so like i i'm not really worried about that i don't know why they chose the desert specifically but given what we saw we saw the dynamic weather which was pretty cool it did look great it did look really great so like, oh, I'm, I'm glad that's there so i mean i just want to see how that's gonna i guess project onto other biomes like how are they gonna do maybe like a snow forest like a like a snow uh, whatever you want to do, like you want to do like a winter wonderland, you want to do, you know, melting ice, are they going to be doing stuff like that? So I'm not really concerned about that, it's just, yeah, I don't know why they did the desert in the first one. I would have liked to see maybe like a lava level with like a lava, like a lava, hot, like, like a dragon or something. A whole but lot, whatever. Of, I mean, a lot of liquid hot magma, if, you, if I do yeah. declare, yeah. Something different, like <laughs> deserts, like, I'm, deserts are, are whatever to me, they're like, the, the go-to for a lot of games, so, but that's fair, I mean, ended up being pretty cool for what they for what it was mm -hmm. yeah i agree it does the game does look real good whether i'll get into it or not it remains to be seen because every time i try and jump into a monster hunter game i'm just like oh this is too much for my goblin it's, brain yeah. to handle <laughs> yeah i mean there, I, I feel something? like they're yeah sorry steve go ahead no joe i was just gonna ask you something because for me the the biggest maybe uh sticking point to for me to jump in and commit time is the the progression of the battle system and that you know monster hunter they don't show any like health bars or uh, progressive damage system in, in showing you like how far along in this battle you actually have and for me that that's a that's kind of a turnoff and this I don't know for for fans of Monster Hunter, they might just you know scoff at me and maybe maybe laugh. But the entire demo, I was like, I'm I'm looking out for you know visual cues of how much longer this uh, this battle's gonna go on. I know that they open up um, it, at, at a certain point after you you attack the uh, monster long enough, there are these red wounds that you can attack, and that kind of I guess shows progressive damage over time. To me, it just didn't really seem satisfying. By the time they defeated the monster, it just kind of you know 
fell over and then you started carving it and everything. I was like, I don't know. For someone who like loves bombastic big battles, I, I just love a, pro a progressive health bar to kind of show you. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're there with three other friends. You're all you're down to like, you know, you got it down to like 10 percent health or something. And then you get to like cheer as it is. It goes down. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But that was that was the only point that I was like, I wish I wish there was something there for for someone like me. Yeah, like an option, of course. Yeah, yeah that would that would certainly be it. I'm not sure. I think for me. Um, it's, it's because, uh, the, the reason why I don't really get into this is because I do get kind of tired of fighting the same dude for, like, um, 20 minutes or even, like, an hour as some legendary mm -hmm. battles take place. So, that's kind of why you gotta do it with friends, so it can go by faster and make the battle a little bit easier. Um, and they did show us, uh, some multiplayer stuff, uh, with bots, and, yeah, it definitely looked like a multiplayer Monster Hunter battle, so... Yeah, I don't know what else there is to say on, on that matter, but, um, yeah, any final thoughts on what we saw in Monster Hunter Wilds before we close this discussion? Bobby? Um, the music was incredible. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to it, but, like, it was, like, invigorating seeing, you know, the character load into the world, and it, and it just kind of starts, you know, starts slow, and as you go closer to the monster, it starts picking up, and then once you start fighting it, it just goes hard the music so like that was something i was paying attention to the music's always been pretty good for these games but right. i feel like they're really delivering something cool this time that's something i want to keep an eye on but yeah i mean overall i i think i just want to get hands-on time with it i like i said i think for newcomers it might be daunting find a friend who wants to play with you because these games are pretty good to play with friends it it is really cool coordinating with you know three other people to get this monster down as fast as you can, right? Because that's kind of what makes this game a little bit more manageable. It's the fact you have a, a party carving away this thing at, at one point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, in game, uh, it's it's two months away from Gamescom, so I'm looking to see what hands on is going to be like and what they're going to show in in August. Are you going to fly to Gamescom, Bobby? <laughs> no, I'm going to going to take a breather on that one. Hunker down. I've, I've, Save yeah, that. Those I need a save that money. I need a break. Yes. Yeah, Steve. What about you? Uh, yeah. No. I think as far as a vertical slice behind closed doors demo, I think this showed really well. It showed a lot of confidence from Capcom in that you know they had they they know that they have something special here and know that a great curated way to show it off to us in the, in the industry and get people excited. Yeah. Uh, to to Bobby's point, I think uh, Monster Hunter fans have a lot of. Um, a lot to look forward to in this game. I don't know if it really sold me on the game as far as, you know, someone who hasn't really been exposed to a Monster Hunter uh, game in the past, but mm -hmm. I think seeing it there, uh, seeing more of the systems, I'm still intrigued. It's kind of the, I'm, I'm still chasing that carrot. I, I do want to see more of the game, more of the diver diverse biomes, maybe some more weapons and stuff like that that will really uh, hook me in. But we've got tons of time. I mean, 2025 is still quite a, few months away they've got time to polish show it off and get demos into the players hands like uh, like us so we can actually try to you know get get in the sticks party up with friends and uh explore this cool wild world mm -hmm. yeah yes the monster hunter breath of the wilds i like to call it yeah, there, we there go. you go yeah there is a glider in this game too isn't there i think there is I believe so, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's got to be, right? I mean, every game has to have a glider now. Thanks, Zelda. But uh, thank you, Bobby and Steve, for joining me on this Monster Hunter Wilds discussion. Thank you. Everyone, check out Console Creatures. Links to these guys are in the description below. And let us know what your thoughts are on Monster Hunter Wilds from the, the footage that we've seen so far. And until next time, bye-bye.